Yeah, I mean, I've done standing starts all the way up from uh, Formula Vauxhall Junior right through to Formula One. And uh, in some ways, the Formula One was one of the easiest because it was, it was very controlled by the electronics. The, you had a, a clutch, a hand clutch, just like we do in IndyCar, but um, the bike point was always in the same spot. So every time you left the pits, the computer would relearn the clutch travel, recenter the bike point, uh, and make it very consistent, very simple and easy to leave the, the pits and, and also to leave on a standing start. So, you know, they, they designed the whole system in mind for doing standing starts. IndyCar, the clutch wasn't designed for it. The system isn't a self-learning automatic system, so it makes it a lot harder to, to get a good start. It's, it's very hit and miss. Um, I've tried slipping the clutch more, tried just dumping the clutch. Yeah, I think it seems like the best way is try not to get too much wheel spin, which puts you in danger of, of stalling the car. So you always ride on that limit. To get the best start, you want to not slip the clutch too much, but you don't want any wheel spin. So you know, the, the, the engine nearly stalls, and then you, you take off. And it's pretty hard to get that just right. So when you don't get to practice on the racing surface, you don't know how much throttle to put in. Um, and that just makes it even tougher. Yeah, I mean, there's many factors that come into how to get a good start you know, and what influences it. So you've got your throttle position or RPM, um, you've got how fast you release the clutch, but how hot are your rear tires? How much grip do your rear tires have? How much grip does the race surface have? So when we got to do a couple of practice starts on Friday, or oh, actually Thursday, um, we were on concrete, and that reacts very differently, especially when a couple of guys have already done you know, practice starts before you. It's very gripped up. And then you go out onto the racetrack, and you set up on the dirty side of the racetrack, and you're trying to estimate, OK, is, do I need to lower it 1,000 RPM? Do I need to add 1,000 RPM? Well, what's going on? Why? You know, you're kind of guessing at what you need, and um, sometimes you get it wrong and your engine stalls. So it's, it's not easy, but um, you know, it's, it makes it interesting.